Good morning, everybody. I'm coming early today. What's up? I hope y'all are good. Um, I am coming back from the store real quick, and I said, let me um, come and do my live now because I'm going to go inside and do some lessons with my daughter. Um, some math and some social studies today. Anyway, um, because I do homeschooler. So, I, if you don't know who I am, I am Cecile Edwards, the creative director and CEO of Mommy Evolve, where we are destroying generational patterns and cycles and building new rituals to empower ourselves and future generations. And this morning, something hit me as I uh, recall that this past week has been quite hectic, and as a result, I was slacking on my Reiki practice on myself because, of course, if I'm going to do it on others, I got to live that life for myself. And I love doing Reiki on myself. I tell the story all the time. It was when I first found Reiki and I started to do the um, classes and I started to do Reiki on myself. I slept better than I had ever slept <laughs> after getting Reiki done. It was something to behold. Um, and I used to have issues with sleep. And from doing Reiki, not only did I get better sleep at that time, but I also intuited other resolutions for my um, sleep health, okay, via dream therapy and um, things like that. So if you don't know also, let me just say that Mommy Evolve is not just for women who are mothers. I use the term mommy to indicate the inner creator in all of us, the inner nurturer in all of us, the inner guide in all of us, right? Because that, that is what we see mommy as. That is what we see, the inner sustainer of ourselves. That's what we see mommy as, right? Because when you think of it, we talk about Mother Earth. That is, what do we, say, what do we think when we think Mother Earth? A creator, a self-sustaining force, a power, etc., etc. So when I say mommy evolve, I'm talking to women with children, women without children, men. I'm talking to everybody. And I am, it's a call to action to evolve that inner mother and grow within yourself. So when I'm talking here about energy, we know that when we don't have enough energy, so let's say we're tired, we, you know, haven't been getting enough sleep. Perhaps we haven't been eating well. And so, you know, our, our uh, reserves of energy of, uh, from food is low. Um, from good food, quality food, uh, well, as quality as we can get in these days and times, is low. Then we, we typically don't have energy to do things or think straight or, you know, be the best person that we can be. And it affects the way that we come towards you because I know when my energy is off or I don't have enough energy, I may, you know, respond to people in a way that is not indicative of um, being that inner or having that inner mother activated at that time. So our energy is everything. Our energy, having enough energy is important, um, you know, as if you are a mother you know that you know having children requires a lot of your energy a lot of mental energy a lot of emotional energy a lot of spiritual energy and we have to understand that number one all of the energy that we need is inside of us but we have to stay connected to it shore it up you know continuously through doing things that we love taking care of ourselves uh, being present with ourselves releasing any emotions that are not holding us back because pent up emotions deplete your energy so that releasing process is a very powerful process to your mental and emotional health and your ability to truly truly be present in your life right so how do you shore up your energy self-care whether it be you know many from many petties to uh, journaling to <laughs> hot baths to lighting candles to buying yourself flowers to whatever it is that soothes your soul but the number one thing that will always shore up your energy the most is listening to your intuition listening to your intuition and trusting yourself because that will guide you and tell you exactly what it is that you need to do 
I tell the story often of when I was um, I was going through some things, which is what Mommy Evolve was born out of. So clearly those things were for me to go through um, and for, for my life to be changed and turned around in a way that was impactful for me and that I could share with others. But I was going through some deep anxiety and depression. And when I was dealing with that, I was drawn to certain things. So I was drawn to like grapefruit and orange and lemon and lime and those kinds of things. So I would be consuming it. Um, I bought the aromatherapy herbs for it, et cetera, et cetera, to utilize. And after the process and I had come to a point, I had shored up my energy to a point where I can then do other things and receive more information about what it is that I needed to do. I realized that those things came to me or those tools came to me to assist me through my process, right? And so sometimes we see certain things as um, silly, you know, why, why do I need to do that? Or I can't do that because I don't have the money to do that and yada, yada, yada. However, what we will do notice is that when we're in tune and we get the inspiration and we know how to connect with our inspiration our own inner inspiration and energy we will do things even when it seems crazy for ourselves that is most powerful and most impactful and is that that is going to lead us back to trusting ourselves even more and even deeper more deeper and that you get energy from that because you are now becoming your own inner creator. You are now becoming your own inner guide. You are now com becoming your own inner power and trusting yourself. So you're not going outside of yourself saying, oh, I need to, you know, yes, the, some, some of these resources will be outside of you. It may be a coach. It may be a therapist. For me, that it was all of those things. Okay, it was the courses, et cetera, et cetera. But my inner guide guided me towards that. My higher consciousness guide, guided me towards that. And I followed it. And if I had not followed it, I would still be in the same predicament with drained energy. Energy. So we see how this is, is quite cyclical. Reiki is a powerful tool too. And I'm so thankful that I that I came um, in contact with it. And I came in contact with it through following my intuition and going to places that my intuition was telling me to go to. If I had not been in those places, I, I may have taking longer to find it or not found it at all and utilized it for my own benefit so this is just something a small blur for you to think about when you're considering your your journey and how you're getting the energy to heal yourself through your journey and there's so much more that I could say about this um and that I do say about it in individual sessions and, and classes and things like that. Um, but restoring your energy, taking back your energy by taking yourself away from people and things that don't serve you, that drain your energy. Sometimes we think that, um, you know, there's no, there, no effect on us. But once we're outside of doing those things or being around those people, we see the difference in our energy right so we really have to think about that and how we um, focus ourselves on what focus we have for the day so think about that throughout your week what is your focus what are you doing that is serving you well that you actually want to do that is giving you more energy to do more of the things that you would like to do and to level up in your life really think about that really consider that really pay attention to that and focus on that um, and trusting that intuition inside of you. Okay. So I just wanted to come with that small blurb. <laughs> now I have to go on inside. Um, stay connected. My website is www.mommyevolve.com. The website is under construction, but the services are still present. So I have one on one coaching, past life readings, which I do for, my, for um, the adults as well as children. Um, and Reiki, um, distance or in-person Reiki, uh, is available and just stay connected. 
you know, sign up for the newsletter so you can stay connected on speaking engagements. I have a couple of vending and speaking engagements coming up that I'm excited about. Mother's Day is around the corner. So, of course, I'm going to be doing a Mother's Day, uh, something for Mother's Day and putting a spin on it. <laughs> um, of course, my unique spin for Mommy Evolve. And just stay centered, y'all. Stay centered, follow your guide, your inner guide. Um, and do things that are going to re-energize you throughout this day. All right? Thank you all for listening. I'll talk to you soon. Peace and love.